G'day guys, it's Rocky here uh, from Further Faster and it's a beer o'clock review. It's a Thursday this week because tomorrow is Good Friday and we'll be closed. So we thought we'd do one tonight. We're going to do one on uh, the new dog coats we got from Roughwear. But beer o'clock reviews, first of all, I found a new beer. This is from Funk Estate Brewing in Taronga and this is the Electric Slide Imperial IPA. Um, very nice. I would have hazarded a get if I guess so, it's quite strong actually. So this is gonna be shared amongst us. 7.8%, so don't go drinking too much of it, but a very nice hazy IPA. A new beer, never come across it before, so never come across a brewery actually, so I'm gonna investigate a few more of their beers. Anyhow, cracking beer. On to the gear. Right, it's coming into autumn winter, and this is when we get all the new rough wear collection dog coats in. And there's a few new ones this year, there's a few updates. So I'm gonna briefly go through uh, most of them actually and talk about the differences. Okay, so what we normally get asked with dog coats is, um, I want a waterproof coat, I want a warm coat, and they're all slightly different. So I'm gonna go for the most waterproof, then through to warm. So, waterproof ones. That's the new vert jacket from Roughwear. Came out last year, uh, but it's new, it's new to us. Came out for their winter to the Northern Hemisphere. So that's a waterproof fabric on the inside, and a light lining that way as well. And this is more of an overcoat, so the, the dog's paws don't come through. I'll show you the difference in a minute. But nice back length, and also it's harness compatible, where the harness will pop out through there. And all the rough wears coats will take the beacon light, which is rough wears clip on light if you're out at night. So that's a vert jacket. So if you're wanting something waterproof and warm, that's definitely one to have a, have a look at there. Following on that, and this is the one I use on Badger, this is the Cloud Chaser. So this is a soft shell jacket, uh, so it's super stretched, lightweight fleece, but this covers the underneath of the dog as well, and the paws are popping out through there. Uh, my favourite, really good, great if you're trail running with your dog, if you're going into muddy places, because it covers the back, bottom side of the dog, hence keeps your car clean, and keeps the dog a little bit cleaner as well. So that's the Cloud Chaser, that's quite warm as well. Alright, so you've got a really cold dog, and you want a really warm jacket. Well, this is the Quincy jacket for this year. So we've got new colours now, which is quite nice, some real bright colours. We've got this, the orange, we've got the grey, and we've got this lovely blue. So this is basically a puffer jacket for a dog, more than anything else. Big quilted jacket, goes under the knee, put it on. You've got, again, it's high, it's compatible, it's safety light compatible. So that's probably the warmest one in the range, if you want any, you know, something for a dog that's got, you know, very little fur on it. Greyhounds, very popular greyhounds that one actually. So that's the Quincy. Um, then we've got a fleece offer, we do have a fleece offer as well. This is a Fernie jacket. So this is your classic little fleece jacket, or big fleece jacket, depending on the size of your dog. Uh, again, it's a paw through the bottom, so it's covering the bottom of the dog. Uh, this one isn't harness compatible, but it will take a beacon, and that comes in a variety of colours. Then, onto the powder hound. Now, so this is part Quincy and part Cloud Chaser. So you've got quilting on the top of it, which is really nice. Then you've got that fleecy stretch on the bottom where the paws come out. So if you're taking your dog backcountry skiing or something like that, that's a really good one to look at. Attaches the beacon, but yet again, there's no harness one on this one. But just think of, if you want to use a harness, go Quincy, maybe go Vert, or go this new Stumptown jacket. This is quite posh. Uh, Oh, the girls in the shop seem to think this is the most lardy dye of the dog jackets we've got so far. So, quilted, patterned. It's, it's a lighter insulation as well, actually, I've got to say. Harness pops out there for sure. And you've got the beacon as well. And that comes in these two colours. So, that, that's great if you just want a, a jacket, which is going to give you a fair bit of weather rush, actually. It's quite a texturised finish to that. And it's quite smart looking. So, if you're taking your dog up the hill, I'd be looking to probably go with Vert. Powder Hound or Cloud Chaser. If it's just for keeping them warm around the place, go with the Fleece of the Ferny or the Climate Changer. And if you just want a super warm, go Quincy. Anyhow, so that's the briefest look at our dog jackets for this year. Now, regarding stock, we've got some stock. It was a very, very cold Northern Hemisphere winter. So we're waiting on some more stock to come in. So hopefully we'll have more by mid-May. Yeah, that's it for dog jackets. Uh, that's it for me. Have a great Easter, everybody. I hope everybody gets outside and has some fun. And uh, we'll speak to you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.